If you find yourself going east towards this square in Strasbourg, PA, you might find a building off to the right that looks pretty different from the rest of the houses in Strasbourg. That would be Gonder Mansion. The mansion sits there as a Queen Anne style that was built in 1905 by Benjamin B. Gonder, who was a railroad tycoon. And if you saw my last video of Hell's Funnel, I talked about him for a brief second, about owning the haunted mill and being connected to another haunting tale. Well, this is that tale, and it's really about his family haunt. Benjamin B. Gonder also went by the name BB, which everyone would call him. He owned a plethora of property along with having business in the railroad industry. During the time when he decided to build the mansion, he lived across the street in a smaller home to keep an eye on the construction progress with excitement to have such an amazing home in Strasbourg. There he lived with his wife, two children, and his sister Annie, who happened to be a bit estranged. 1905 came along and the family was set to move in the new glorious mansion. Well, everyone except for Annie, who was banned to even step foot in the house. Gossip from the townsfolk said that during the move-in, there was a big altercation of yelling about whether Annie should be able to come live with them. Some thought it was between Annie and Bibi, or Annie and Mary. Most think it was because Mary just didn't want to be seen with Annie and her awkward personality. Bibi's wife Mary hated his sister and found her to be the biggest embarrassment to the family due to her dull and simple mindedness. One behavior noted that was very strange about Annie was laughing very loudly at what male guests would say and it was mostly the ones she found attractive. Ultimately, Annie was sent to live in the old house across from the mansion. Becoming angry and struggling to cope with the rejection, she would spend hours every day staring at the mansion she knew she couldn't go into. Over time, she began to see the fragments in the stucco by the window, making faces at her, two smiling and one frowning. Thinking Mary made these faces to mock her and her isolation from the mansion, Annie swore to take revenge on Mary one day. On March 16, 1916, Bibi ended up being the first Gonder to die there, suffering from a heart attack at the home. After hearing this, since Bibi was her favorite person and the only one kind to her, she came into a deep depression. Two years later, on May 28, 1918, Annie disappeared from the town of Strasbourg to be later found in Peckwick Creek dead. She succumbed to her depression from BB dying and drowned herself in a terrible death. Even in death, Mary found Annie to be an embarrassment. If you go to Strasbourg Cemetery, you can find the Gonder family plot, but you won't find Annie's headstone in the row with her family. Mary had her gravestone put behind the family facing away from the rest of them, but that wasn't the end of Annie. She is still laughing. Not long after the death of Annie, men and only men would hear a female laughing inside the mansion when no woman was there to be present. Some would even see a ghostly woman roam around the house. It was also said that people would see a shadowy figure standing over the graves of Annie and her family pacing. Maybe Annie was looking around for them. And legend has it that since Annie was barred from the house that she spends her afterlife there, haunting every room. Some also have said to have seen her looking out one of the windows when walking or driving by. But maybe Annie isn't so kind herself. Only men have seen or heard her, and only men 
Five, in fact, including Bibi, have died in the house. Maybe she has taken their life in order to have a male that will still love her, even for her bizarre laugh. <laughs> Well, that's it for this one, and if you haven't yet, click subscribe and the notification button so you can see when I post videos. And if you like this video, click the like button, and I'll see you next time.